The way people purchase and consume music has dramatically changed over the last 20 years. With recorded music essentially becoming free due to streaming platforms, many artists have gone direct to fan, cutting out record labels entirely. Sony loses millions! Help Tommy Mottola! Where do musicians go from here? Indie artists are now seeing new profits, but they still crave the communities, financial support, and social impact a network of musicians can provide. There are some options. Online communities, nonprofits, and corporate sponsored music incubators provide support, but they can lack mentorship and instruction. You're on your own, bro. What if the music business took a nod from the tech industry? Young software developers regularly work in shared spaces called incubators in exchange for a stake in their company. Did somebody use my bath towel slash USB key? What if there was a tech-style incubator for musicians? I call this model the Music Incubator. The Music Incubator is an artist development program that is designed to provide the space and support for anything and everything that goes into being a successful artist. The distinguishing factor from current incubator programs is the Music Incubator provides a market solution with a focus on mentorship. The Music Incubator consists of three key aspects. First, space. Musicians would live in a space designed and built to fulfill the needs of its inhabitants. Rehearsal studios, editing booths, and showcasing space would all be provided. Second, staff. A full-time staff would bolster the creative efforts of artists by matching them with appropriate mentors, helping them build a team and creating community. Third, artists. Artists would need to apply or be invited to the program. All right, and what type of music do you make? I blow into jars and I record the jar sounds, then I sell that. In theory, each music incubator would need a sponsoring entity, which would provide an investment that would dictate the scope of the incubator. Upon return of their investment, they would then seek to achieve sustainability and profitability in their business model. How would they do this? The first profit model would be a payment model. In this model, participants would pay to participate in the incubator. The second profit model would be a percentage model. The incubator would establish the artist as a business and then take a stake in the business. And lastly, a work for hire model. This means they release their rights to the music they're producing, however, they gain access to a development program that can jumpstart their careers. Once accepted to the incubator, artists would spend six to eight months with a mentor, where they would be paired with ideal workshops and intensives. Then, artists would establish their business goals and a financial plan would be created. The mentor would assist the artist in creating a team of producers, arrangers, and performance coaches. This team would help build the artist's narrative with consistent branding, marketing, and social media campaigns. You're like Mariah Carey meets Bjork! After all these items are in place, the artist would begin showcasing to festival producers, digital agencies, and additional investors. It's the best time ever to be in music! Is a phrase that's thrown around a lot these days. So why do we need the music incubator? Don't we have enough ways for musicians to grow and find exposure? While that may be true, the Music Incubator solves the various business development problems artists face. By combining the best of the past with the resources of the future, we can create a platform with a meaningful impact. As the great Beethoven said, There ought to be an artistic depot where the artist need only hand in his artwork in order to receive what he asks for. As things are, one must be half a businessman, and how can one understand? Good heavens, that's what I really call troublesome.